Dating is not biblical because it fails in three of the most important aspects of the Christian walk, faith, holiness, and following Christ's example. Holiness is of critical importance to God. It's not enough to live in a moral and socially acceptable manner. God commands holiness in every area of our life. Holiness is made up of two parts, the putting off of the old man and the putting on of the new. 1 Timothy 2.5 says to treat the younger women as sisters with all purity. It's not possible for a single guy to date a young lady and still treat her as a sister in all purity. In God's design and plan, there's no special relationship in between treating a young lady as a sister and then as a wife. In fact, if dating causes you to covet them in any way, and it will, then you're already breaking the 10th commandment. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote to me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. What Paul is saying to us should be obvious here. Touching members of the opposite sex can lead to problems, so it's wise to avoid it. Notice this isn't a commandment. There could be a good reason to touch someone of the opposite sex, like saving their life. However, it's generally good and wise not to. Faith is putting God's direction into action. Faith is hope in the Lord to lead you and following when he does. Every Christian I've ever met struggles with surrendering their life to the Lord. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he who comes to him must believe that he is, and he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. The world rejects Jesus as the Lord of their life. So it's no surprise that they also reject his plan for their life. As they try to find their own way in life by their own wisdom, they invented dating. Courting isn't much better because it still relies on man's wisdom and man's analysis of a person. With these trial romances, the relationship can be terminated if one person doesn't find the other person suitable. Dating's not by faith, it's by sight and our own judgment. Does God need you to try them out? Doesn't he already know who you should marry? Our personal love story is an opportunity to exercise faith and look to God for direction. Jesus is the Lord of our life and the only person wise enough to make such an important decision. Why not ask God instead of trying to find a spouse in your own strength? He can get it right the first time. You will grow in faith and follow his instructions to keep yourself pure and not defraud your brothers and sisters. Dating and courting are not seen anywhere in scripture. In fact, the ultimate and only lasting marriage is that of Christ and the church, what marriage points at. As part of the bride of Christ, we're betrothed to Christ. For I am jealous over you with a godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Jesus did not date the church. He did not test drive the church to see if they were compatible. Instead, in our darkest hour, Jesus obediently sacrificed himself for us as God had promised. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commends his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude and as the voice of many waters and the voice of mighty thunderings saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he says unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. There are godly couples who have dated, married, and gone on to live lives that glorified God. However, this doesn't mean dating is the best way to pursue a relationship. The question isn't whether God can use or overcome your choices to create a good outcome, but whether you want to glorify Christ. Even the most pure dating situations fail the scriptural standards for relationships. Dating is not treating your brothers or sisters in all purity. It's not resisting the desires of the flesh. It's not relying on God to find out who you should marry. It's not walking in faith as God leads. And it's not imitating Christ and the church. Dating is used by the world because they reject God's plan for their life and instead seek to gratify their own desires and figure the world out with their own wisdom. Christians are called to a higher and a more beautiful standard. Click here to learn more and come visit us at biblicalromance.com.